Yeah. It's not. I'm here. KG goes for it. No dribble. And I shoot it. No dribble. That is not a travel. No one's a travel. Thank you. You can't. No way, that Candace. is not a travel. That's not, that's not, no that way, is not a travel. That's that's no way possible. That is a walk. So who do you think is right? Candace Parker or KG and Gary Payton? The most basic and fundamental rule in basketball, the traveling call, continues to be one of the most controversial, misunderstood, misinterpreted, and simply missed calls by players and refs at all levels. Well, the KG really doesn't know the rules. Right. So, <laughs> so, no, I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah. I'm being honest. But, yeah. Quantum is going to finally put the arguments to rest, seeking the definitive answers from Joey Crawford, as well as from FIBA's Albert Joseph. We had a chance to catch up with these two gents at the recent Basketball Without Borders camp. Even in Korea, you think, so my thing is, on a post, now he's going in against the ball. Against the ball. Pounds him down, and he turns the top of up, under, up. They're saying that that's a women's rule. Like it's only allowed in the women's game, and not in the men's game. Right, Steve up, close, right? So the ruling is, you can could, you could pick up that pivot foot, to either pass or on the side. Yeah, because I I get into these discussions all the time, right. and a lot of times with, with basketball people, yeah. they 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 look at me like you're an idiot, <laughs> and I show them. Right, 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 right. And it's it's better to have it here. Right. Our problem, right? In our rule is we have to do a better job of defining right. where it's. It's very, I guess the word would be evasive. But is there is there any sort of rule, even at a high school level or a collegiate level, where it differs from that rule? Oh, no, right. heard of one. Yeah. Now your rule is women use six, men use seven. Right. So ball. On the side of the ball, right? Another question that we might we have is the uh, gather step, right? The motion step and gather step. Right? Or, or gather before you start. Right. Ours is different. Yeah, NBA will be that one. Because the gather doesn't count as a step. In the NBA? Yes. And the gather counts as a step in FIBA? No. no. It's the same rule. It's the same rule. Right. The problem is, right. is that... When do you define we, the gather? We, our explanation of it right. is the gather doesn't count as a step is not in the rule book. It's oh, not out. in the rule book. That's our interpretation of it. Do you see what got I'm saying? It, got it, so we put it in the You put it in the rule book, and this is not defined here. Yeah. So now I'm explaining it to basketball people. Right. And now they're going back to the rule book, and they say, it doesn't right, say right, that. Right, 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 right. You see what I'm saying? So, how much was that? It's in our rule book. Oh, yeah, we changed it. That's the rule book. So... In between dribbles, you can take as many steps as you want. Yeah, yeah. There's right? no correlation right. between yeah. dribble and steps. Right. Well, here it is. Right. That's allowed. But it's not going to go to the ball. What is that? Then? Right. It's okay? No travel. No travel. No travel. Because 
in between the drum is a motion step, so you can take as many motion steps as you want. And whether you take a drill and then go one, two, or after the motion has ended, you gather and go one, two. Yeah, So I'm gathering. The reason that they did was is that the gather is so hard to determine in fast motion. Okay. So now they come up and they say, the gather doesn't count as a step. Uh, so now when we're looking at it, everybody wants to talk about hard. Right, 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 right. He's gathering it, he's going one, two. Right. He's good. Right. Sign for the speed. Many players and refs failed to make the connection that the two steps you're allowed for a very basic two-step layup is actually derived from the rule for the pivot first step, pickup of the pivot foot second step, and then jumping off of the second step for the layup. 
The rule clearly states at both the NBA and FIBA levels, and even if you look at the WNBA, high school, and junior high school levels, and basically at all levels, here's the footwork for the up and under. The pivot foot is the first step. Your jab steps are repeats of your second step. Now as you go in for the shot or pass, you can lift your pivot foot for the shot or pass. It says that the pivot foot can be picked up as long as you shoot or pass before the pivot foot touches the ground again. And if you had jumped into the air off your second step, then the ball has to be released from your hands before either foot touches the ground again. Now as ridiculous as this looks, and there's a very, very low chance that any player would do this in a game, but this is still a legal move. A player can be grounded with his second step, with his pivot foot off the ground, and with the ball in his hands, without violating the traveling rule. But he has to pass or shoot before the pivot foot can legally touch the ground again. You don't right. Right. Do the move on the board. Do the move on it. Go into the basket. Here you go. I don't have any. Right. I just gotta release that ball. Do the other one, the first one. The first one. Nothing. Do the one. Do the one where you're gathering. Right. Do the one where you're gathering, yeah. and then up and under. Up, up and under. Up, up and under. Because I want to know how you teach it, Brian. See, that's what I'm saying. So a lot of man, a lot of the, a lot of the. Yeah, no, we gotta hear why. Why? Yeah. Look at that. Up and under. Like that. Up. And he's got to so this is the controversy that this is or pass or yeah. Yeah. was on TNT, yeah. and he was, she was showing the move to Kevin Barnett. So she's like, okay, I'm going to pound it down, I'm going to up it, and go under, and shoot it, and lay up. And then KG was like, oh, wow, that's a terrible. Well, the KG really doesn't move. Right. So. <laughs> so, no, I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah. I'm being honest. But we have the same exact controversy. Yeah, so you pick up your pivot foot, you have to pass and shoot. Yes, you shoot. At the end of a dribble, all you want to do is shoot. What's that? Please pass and shoot. Yes, you shoot. I'm just saying so many. So many high school reps in, in, the, in Korea and the United States, the only thing that they're looking at is when the guy's doing it up and under, they're just looking for good things. They're calling it a travel. They're like, you, you pick up your pivot. I think there's a wrong but understanding. Again, that, that's about, why they're right high school reps. Right. Wrong understanding and interpretation of the rules. But that, that's leading to the program. I'm trying to find this. I'm trying to find the travel rule. I'm, I have it. I have the travel rule. 